It's here. The Terra Onion Mega SD. Last week, Terra Onion dropped a massive announcement at their Direct with the arrival of the Mega SD, a cartridge that plays Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, Master System, 32X, and for the first time ever, Sega CD or Mega CD games from any region all on a single flash cartridge, and it even works on the handheld Sega Nomad. With over two years in active development, the Mega SD is the ultimate accessory for any Sega Genesis and a complete recreation in FPGA of the entire Sega CD hardware into a 100% plug and play cartridge. If you can believe it, the Sega CD was released around 28 years ago back in 1991 as CD technology and the full motion video craze started to get into full swing. The main reasons for the Sega CD are obvious. Storage. With up to 320 times larger than a regular Genesis cartridge, Sega sold around 2.3 million units before discontinuing the product in 1996 to focus on the Sega Saturn. Like many early CD-based game systems at the time, the system was criticized for many straight ports from the Genesis or having subpar FMV titles, but the Sega CD has some notable standouts and these days the cost of both the Sega CD hardware and the games are becoming quite expensive. Because the Genesis hardware itself isn't capable of handling the CD-based graphics streaming and audio capabilities, inside the Sega CD there is an additional Motorola 68000 CPU as well as an increase to the internal memory. So for the last 28 years, the only way that you could run Sega CD games was to use emulation or original hardware, which is notorious for breaking down, as well as the fact that the games, Sega CD games, if you take a look at eBay, are just continuing to increase in price, with some of them being, quite frankly, ridiculous amounts of money. So the Mega SD by Terra Onion is a huge announcement by the company. Now, I do want to thank Terra Onion for sending me a preview unit of the Mega SD to take a look at on the channel and review for you guys. But I do stress this is a preview unit with the final release of the product shipping out in August. The Mega SD has two main functions. The first is a ROM cartridge, like you would expect from an EverDrive. This allows you to load your Genesis and Master Systems games, but the most exciting part of this hardware is the introduction of the FPGA that completely recreates an entire Sega CD hardware onto a single chip. Micro SD cards of up to 400 gigabytes in size are supported to manage all your games, well and truly more than you'll ever probably need. It's also compatible with Sega Genesis models including the Model 1, 2, 3 and the Nomad, and even clone consoles like the Analog Mega SG. In fact, I think the Analog Mega SG and a Mega SD represents the best combination of these two products. If you have the money to invest, there is no better way to enjoy Sega Genesis and Sega CD in your living room. Looking at the shell, the cartridge is very simple in design and aesthetically quite pleasing. With a single SD card slot and a reset button on the right hand side to quit out of the current game and back into the main menu. The Spartan 6 FPGA is the chip on the device that emulates the entire Sega CD in hardware and what a beast it is. Now let's take a closer look at some of the features that the Mega SD has to offer. Get ready. First of all, playing Genesis games off this cartridge works very well, with a simple and easy to use navigation menu for all your games. If you have different region games you want to play, you can select the Auto Region Fix in the Options menu, which does a pretty good job, and it makes it very easy to load things like PAL region games on an NTSC system. As you would expect, the entire Genesis and Mega Drive library is fully supported except for one game, Virtual Racing, which ironically the Mega SD shares its case design with. The custom SVP chip is not currently supported by the Mega SD. It might be something that Terra Onion decides to incorporate later or just leave alone. Either way, it's not really a huge deal. To further test compatibility, I tried a few homebrew demos like the Titan Mega Demo 2 and as expected, everything just worked. It also works perfectly with popular ROM hacks including the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 hack that adds all playable characters from MK1, 2 and 3 including Shiva. Again, no issues here at all. But we're really just getting started. 
Over on the Super Nintendo, many people have been enjoying the MSU1 cartridge add-on, an enhancement to existing Super NES games that includes things like full motion video and CD quality sound. It basically turns the old Super NES into something with a CD drive. It's a really cool feature and adds a new dimension to those old 16-bit Super NES games. And for the first time on the Mega SD, there is an MSU1 equivalent and it's excellent. Known as MD+, it allows for games to support CD audio. Here's an example of a patched version of OutRun that supports it. Get ready. Terra Onion let me know that this feature is still being actively developed, but it's awesome and I can't wait to see more games support the MD Plus mode. The Mega SD also has 8 save state slots for Genesis and Mega Drive ROMs, as well as a full blown cheat engine. Sega Master Systems games are also fully supported and as an added bonus will utilize the improved FM only music with any compatible Master Systems games. But let's get on to the star of the show, the reason why you'd want this cartridge over an EverDrive, the Sega CD. Running Sega CD from the Mega SD is simple. Copy your Sega CD or Mega CD BIOS images into the BIOS folder, and it works best if you have one BIOS per region selected. But if you are missing a BIOS image, say a PAL region one, the Mega SD would warn you when the game requires it. But once you have set the BIOS images in the Mega SD, you will never need to come back to this screen. The Mega SD supports ISO and bin Q images. Right off the bat, the load times are significantly decreased. Now a game like Eternal Champions is much more bearable to play with a Mega SD. As with the Master System and Genesis games, compatibility on the Sega CD is excellent. I've tested around 30 or so Sega CD games with no issues to report at all. Games like Snatcher and Potful Mail, which are north of $400 to buy on eBay these days, run perfectly. On some emulators, I've noticed audio issues with Snatcher. As you play through the game, the audio can desync. No such issues here at all. It's perfect. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. Other great games on the Sega CD run flawlessly, which includes all the full motion video games. As cheesy as they are in 2019, it's awesome to see games like Night Trap running off a flash cartridge without having to set up an entire Sega CD unit to play it. One very minor nitpick that I have with Sega CD currently is that selecting the in-game reset won't clear out or mute the audio of the game, and it can be a little distracting. Hey, 
I was just looking for a little fun and adventure. <laughs> But this is not a huge deal, and Terra Onion will most likely have this addressed in a firmware update. The Sega 32X is also supported, but you will need the 32X hardware add-on to take advantage of it. And of course, the 32X plays great as you would expect on the Mega SD. I would love to one day see the 32X be playable without the hardware, but since the 32X is an add-on that routes the video signal, the complexity to FPGA the hardware might be too complicated or it may just not be worth the trouble. Still, I'd love to see it happen one day. Now onto the price. The Mega SD ships for 232 euros or around 270 US dollars shipped. And that is a lot of money in anyone's book. But if you consider a top-end EverDrive that retails for around 170 US dollars, paying the extra 90 dollars for a fully-fledged optical drive emulator for the Sega CD, and not needing to pay the outrageous eBay prices for Sega CD original games and hardware, make the price just about right in my book. It is expensive and it is an investment, but it's easily the best damn flash cart on the market today. Nothing else comes close. So what else can I say about the Terra Onion Mega SD that I haven't already mentioned in this review? I love the product, it's absolutely awesome. It completely replaces the Sega CD and it works extremely well. And you know, it's really a no brainer. I mean, there's no reason why you would ever want to go back and use an original Sega CD. Once you have a product like this, it really is truly an evolution in the retro community. Now, there are some people out there that will not like the price, and I do understand that point of view. It is expensive at, you know, $270 US, but if you think of it another way, it's only an extra $100 over the price of a top-end EverDrive cartridge, and that really you know, sweetens the deal quite a lot, especially considering the fact that buying original Sega CD hardware on eBay is just ridiculous. I mean, you're not gonna be paying anything less than like $150 for the base unit, and then you have to factor in the price of the game. So this really is an awesome product, and it does make sense at that price. Again, some people will not be too happy with the price, but I think it's priced pretty well for what it is. It's a great product, it's definitely a high End product you know this is the best flash cartridge that you can get on the market today it's definitely one that i recommend and it's one that i can recommend to you guys well guys that will do it for this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought about it in the comments below as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye for now